All right, so I managed to uh, adjust my top view image. Uh, I just made some tweaks in GIMP, and uh, so now, top, if we look at it, things line up. But because of that, I need to now adjust where my uh, horizontal stab is. So we're going to go into that, wings, horizontal stab, just our zoom here. Let's get that to where we want it. Okay, so I think we want to scoot it like so a little bit. And it's actually going to be a little bit uh, thicker, I believe. Maybe bring it forward just another touch. Something like that. And let's see where our edge is at. Looks like it's still in the right spot. So, that's better. One other thing that we should probably do real quick is uh, look at it from the front. We'll change our image here also. Because as you can see, there's just a bit there, so we'll go back to our wings. Wing one. Let's adjust our zoom here so that we can get that dihedral in there correctly. Like that. And here's another time where we can see that uh, this image isn't exactly to scale. But it's alright because we. Uh, we just want to follow that amount of dihedral and that also shows that the root of our wings is actually a little bit too high so we'll adjust that with our vert bring it down about like that and then we'll come over here to the dihedral and uh, it's not much but uh, there's a little and it'll make a difference all right, so now that we've got that in there, come back out here, and uh, things are looking better. So let's uh, let's go ahead and we can go back to the front view here. And let's go to uh, landing gear. Let's work on that for a minute. Now, uh, I like to uh, kind of label the airplane left to zero and right is one. Really, left, left is one and right is two, but the way uh, X-Plane starts, they, they start numbering at zero. So left is zero, right is one, and uh, nose wheel or tail wheel is going to be two. That's just the, the habit I've gotten into, and it makes it so that I don't have to look it back up when uh, I'm trying to add data refs and things like that for animations. So, let's, uh, let's first give some leg length. Um, we'll take a guess as to something like that. We're going to have a, uh, let's see, we want to adjust our angle. We don't want uh, that, we want the lateral angle. And let's see where we're at. Now let's throw in some tire size real quick just so we can see what we're doing. Let's see if it's showing up. Ah, there it is. Okay. Now let's uh, bring that down off of zero. 
it's going to live about there, and then we're going to bring it this way. Now we can give it a little more angle. That matches our picture pretty good. Let's see, tire size. Now I'm going to put uh, these. This airplane gets uh, kind of popular with a little bit of bush flying, and so I plan on putting some Alaskan bush wheels on it. Let's see if I can find where I put that information. Ah, there we go. Wheels. Okay, so let's see, that wheel is going to be, so our radius, so let's see, we've got a radius of, for it, 29 inches, we're going to divide that by 2, puts us at 14 and a half, and then uh, this is in feet, so then I divide that again by so it's going to give us a radius of 1.2. Um, so that means that that one and this one here are going to be 1.2. And then our little, uh, what is it, 11 inch tail wheel. Divide that by 2 gives us 5.5 divided by 12, so we're going to do 0.45 on that one, 0.45 for a tail wheel, okay, and then our width, and this is uh, semi-width being half, so if we're at 13, divide that by 2, 6.5, divide that by 12, point Five, four. Four, and then our tail wheel. Is going to be point two. Okay, so then we're going to want to give us a little more leg length. It's going to come down some and maybe back in just a little. So let's give it more length. Something like that. And that's pretty close. So now we're going to take those numbers, basically copy them over. So now we're moving to the right. So we're going to go positive. Your vert is going to be the same. the same uh, length here so we want that and want this to be like that there we go and let's see both of those break so we're going to want to check these here they don't retract, uh, they don't caster, so we're going to leave that all like it is. Um, they don't steer. So, that's that for the mains. Now we're going to jump into our side view, change this over to our side. Back to landing gear. And uh, whoops, back to landing gear. There we go. Let's see that 
place. And notice there's our little tail wheel. So let's uh, move that into position. actually going to change because we want to give it a leg. Something about like that with an angle here. Other way. About like that. There we go, now this one does steer. So let's go with uh, steering degrees. Now we've got the rudder at the moment going to 20 degrees, so we'll just give this also 20 degrees. So let's go 20, oops, and 20. Um, you would change those. Um, actually, I don't know that it makes a difference anymore, but it used to be that one of those was for when you're moving slow, and one was for when you're moving fast. And then you can set the specific time for that. But I think they took that option actually away. Um, let's also adjust this here, because you notice that there's supposed to be a bit of an angle there. So um, we will adjust. And I'm going the wrong way. Not like that, huh? 10 degrees. So then we're going to want to adjust that. Oops. There we go. And from this view, we get a better idea that we're not quite centered on that, which is what I was aiming for. So I'm going to make it just a little bit lower. that. Alright, so now we have wings, we have fuselage, we have landing gear which should brake and should steer and uh, we are getting uh, quite close to being able to open it up in the sim and seeing if it actually flies. But there's still a few things we're going to want to do. Um, first thing I'm going to do is save it again real quick. And of course it's going to keep warning us of this. Now it's saying our empty weight. We haven't done anything with our weight yet. Um, and you know what, we've still got just a touch of time. So let's, let's go to that real quick. So bottom here, weight and balance. Empty weight of the airplane. Now, I've got a maximum weight right here. Oh, I've even got my empty weight. Here we go. So we've got our empty weight and our gross. So our empty weight is going to be 1350. Maximum, or our gross is going to be 2350. Fuel capacity of 50 gallons, which equals out to be 300 pounds, which is what they want here is in pounds, so fuel load, 300 pounds. Um, all of this we can leave. We're going to want to come over here to tanks. It's going to have one tank, so the ratio of that tank is 1. If you had multiple tanks, you'd want to divide up that ratio. Now where that tank lives I'm gonna to have to do a little more research on um, but this right here is where you would say where you would tell it where exactly that tank lives and uh, so right now it's just set at 
0, which can be seen by that dot right there. Um, so now if we go file and save, no more warning. So at this point, we could attempt to fly it, but we don't have any instruments or anything. So uh, that'll probably be what we go into on the next video.